All right, I'm getting ready to make my uh, cabinet that's going underneath my Supermax sander. And I've got uh, two pieces of scrap plywood, both about the same size. Uh, this one I just finished putting um, square ends on it, at, you know, squaring it up, period, I guess. So it measures 28 and 3 quarter by 29. Now, um, I, I've got, I, I don't know if you can see this line here, but I got a layout line at 10 degrees, and I used my, um, my woodpecker's true square. This is really a nice tool. Then uh, set it at 10 degrees. Oops, I'm going to go this way. Let's see which way do I have to go here. Well, I've got it set the wrong way. So I'll set it at 10 degrees. And then I just used a straight edge here. Carefully brought it up to, to the uh, edge and made my made my 10 degree line right right there. So drew my line 10 degrees um, then um, made sure I had enough of the base which is 15 and a half and then a, a 17 inch line up from the base parallel to that. Now I really don't have to worry about um, anything other than making this first cut then the rest will be will be very simple to, to do so uh, how, the, the big question is how do you make this cut on such a large piece now that you could use a track saw um, my of which I do have one but um, the saw itself is on the fritz and I need to get a, a replacement for that or get it fixed one of the two um, and I've been kind of lazy in that department so here I am wanting to do this without my track saw so what, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna do it on the table saw and let me show you how I'm gonna accomplish that all right here we go so using that same layout tool I'm going to take this piece of 20 millimeter extrusion, 20 millimeters thick, and take my layout tool and put it underneath here and bring it up and set my panel to 10 degrees. Like so. Alright, so I can now lock that on here. Good. All right, now I'll just give it the old eyeball test here. Now the other component to this is that you've got this hanging out, this this piece hanging out over the edge. So I've got to compensate for that, and I took a piece of scrap. Uh, half inch plywood ripped it parallel and so now this corner is clear of when, when I butt it up against the fence and then I've got this other piece on here for support and that's just gonna I'll put that as close to the blade as I can so that this piece doesn't drop into the blade now we'll just go back here get things parallel to each other and I've got to come over because I'm way away from my line I've got to I don't have to get right on this line but I've got to be close so I'm looking at the line and I'm looking at my uh, table saw throat insert there and I'm just getting them lined up as best I can for now and that looks good so now you can see I'm I'm able to push this at 10 degrees and make my cut 
And I'll have to I'll have to keep this. What I'm gonna have to do is probably grab it here and, and here. And then push it like like so. I'm not gonna worry about this. I'll get this closer though. About right there. Yeah, that'll balance that piece. And then I can push it through. Oh, I've got to clear my workbench down at the bottom there. Eyeball that line again. I've got to go over a little bit. this cut. I gotta clear my end down here though. Extremely accurate. When I got my new pencil line right out here, I landed right on that, and then I ended up right on my pencil line as I exited. It looks like I split the line actually. Let me see here. Yep, there's just a trace of pencil line left there. Wow, that's really cool. I, I, that, I, I'm very happy with the way that worked out. Now, I can make my length uh, of cuts using this as my parallel edge and that on my other side. And then I'll uh, make the uh, final taper cut. Okay, I got my two pieces here and I'm ready to do some more layout work. Now this is the finished edge already, and from that I need to figure out where my, uh, my next edge is going to be. And I'm going to have a uh, face frame on both sides with uh, sliding doors, so um, I'm going to figure three quarters of an inch on both sides, so that's inch and a half. I want this to be about 17 inches wide. So I'm coming over 15 and a half here. Right about right here. And then my 10 degree taper runs the other way. Alright, so from here we're going up. And then I've got my height to worry about here. And I gotta make that cut first while I have this square edge. I guess I really don't have to because I'll be running off of this parallel edge. Yeah, I just have to figure out where this is gonna go, where I'm gonna end up here. So let's just extend this line. OK, 
Okay. Then my height is going to be 17 and a half. Okay, so this is my finished side, and they'll both be cut on the table saw at the same time, so they will end up being identical.